I guess we first have to address why exactly the Buds 2 Pro is yet another audiophile approved banger from Samsung. There's something about the 200Hz bass rise of the Buds 2 Pro that just contributes so much to clarity whilst allowing for a quite a large amount of bass. The research sets the average at about 10 decibels. And that is roughly where the Buds 2 Pro sit at. It is a lot personally, but it's also very well controlled going to that 200Hz rise, so busy bass lines are mostly free from congestion. Compared to the Buds Pro or the Buds 2, you will get a brighter sounding mids on the Buds 2 Pro. The Buds 2 Pro also supports a voice detect which automatically triggers ambient mode when you start talking and in my usage, I must say that it was pretty effective. The ANC is great. When I go onto a bus or a train and I turn it on, I hear basically none of the vehicle noises. It's eerie, it's unsettling, it's absolutely magical. Right now, we're going to compare the two Pro's active noise cancelling to the older Buds Pro. So the Buzz 2 Pro's active noise cancelling is definitely an improvement. 360 audio is yet another niche Samsung exclusive feature that's worth discussing. This head tracking surround sound experience does make binging documentaries and movies more immersive. Samsung confidently promotes that the Buds 2 Pro can stream 256 times more sound data than 16-bit. Technically, 24-bit has a wider dynamic range compared to 16-bit audio and it should sound better. Not even a contest, Buds 2 Pro all the way. 